Good evening. Well, it's that time of year where amounts of sunshine or cloud cover can make a real difference to the feel of the weather and the temperature too. And that was certainly the case through the course of the weekend. So a mixed picture in terms of sunshine. In Wales, it was the warmest day of the year so far there. Temperatures got up to 23.3 degrees at Porth Maddock. But we didn't all have those blue skies. The satellite image shows more cloud across Northern Ireland and Scotland too. And under the cloud, particularly across Scotland, temperatures really struggled. So Aberdeen, for instance, didn't get above 12 degrees degrees all day and you can see from this weather watcher picture all the low cloud and the drizzle that we had. Now through the week ahead then, things are looking mostly dry, high pressure in charge. Yes, there'll be some warm sunshine around, but variable amounts of cloud and really subtle changes in wind direction through the course of this week. Now, through much of spring 2023 so far, the jet stream has been quite far south, delivering areas of low pressure. But through this week, it is sitting well to the north of the UK. So with the jet stream to the north, that's allowing some milder air, but it's also allowing high pressure to build in. Now this high pressure in the Atlantic just drifts its way gradually further eastwards over the next five days or so. So yes, a largely dry outlook then through this evening and tonight, then we've just got the tail end of a weather front across parts of Northern Ireland and Scotland still just starting to drift its way south eastwards. Most of us frost free tonight, but we could get down to about three or four degrees where we do see those clearer spells lasting through into Monday morning. Just a very small chance of a rogue shower pushing onto the coast of Norfolk. Now through the day tomorrow then we've got this area of cloud just pushing across parts of northern and eastern England just could produce one or two light showers but most of us looking dry and in the sunshine temperatures for most between about 16 to 22 degrees. Moving through Monday night now into Tuesday and a subtle change in wind direction, a bit more of a northerly flow. So something a little bit cooler and fresher in terms of that air mass, particularly in the north and the east, I think, on Tuesday. So Tuesday could be the only day this week that we don't hit 20 degrees anywhere across the country. Now, we do have a little bit more of a breeze and cloud moving in again from the northwest, but in the sunny spells, most of us getting up to about 14 to 19 degrees. And then it turns a little bit warmer again as we head into the middle part of the week. High pressure starting to nudge its way a bit further east and just that tail end of that front again, pushing around that area of high pressure. So that will bring more cloud to Scotland and to Northern Ireland. Not much in the way of rainfall, perhaps just an odd light shower. We'll also see more cloud building. This is convective cloud, so fair weather cloud across East Anglia and the southeast. But temperatures again 21 or 22 degrees in the warmest spots, fairly light winds as well. No great changes towards the end of the week, just the tail end of that front again lingering into Thursday. So that could bring us a bit more cloud to some northern areas and some eastern coasts as well. So if you're stuck under the cloud, it'll feel rather cool. But in the long spells of sunshine, for most of us, another warm feeling day. Highs up to about 15 to 22 degrees. Looking towards the end of the week now into Friday, and as high pressure just sits right across the UK, it moves its way in from the west, that could mean that we'll have a little bit more cloud just trapped underneath that area of high pressure. So possibly a bit of a greyer sort of day for some of us on Friday, but again, largely dry, light winds for most, but could be a little bit breezy around the southern end of that high pressure and highs around 20 degrees. So a fairly settled week ahead. For now, it's back to Sammy with Farmer Katie as she's finishing her working day on the farm. Thank you. 